All right, guys, we are back for another year at Foot Trading, and we are giving away a copy of FIFA 23 if you are subscribed to us during early access. Basically, in the first 10 days, we bring out all our basic trading guides in our Discord, and you get one-to-one -one help from me, Dan, and the mods to help you make coins. We use that, that period as a way to make sure we're finite and then finessing everything that we do ready for the full site launch. If you subscribe right now, one of you guys will win a copy of FIFA 23. If you've already bought FIFA 23, we'll just give you the cash instead. So make sure you check out the website. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below. Channel is growing like crazy at the moment, and we're on the road to 40,000 subscribers. Project Fuzzball 40k. Make sure you subscribe. It makes a massive difference to the channel. And if you can take the time to like and comment, it really does boost us on the algorithm. Helps the videos get recommended, and it's massively appreciated. You guys have been incredible, and I promise you there will be a giveaway in the next day or two for a copy of FIFA 23. Or if you've already got FIFA 23, one of you guys will just get it paid for for you. Basically, I'll just transfer you the cash to pay for the one you've already got. All right. So that'll be in the next couple of videos. So subscribe if you're here. Check out the website as well if you want to sub over there. You'll make millions of coins. And again, one of you will win FIFA. We are killing it for you guys this year. So we're going to keep grinding it out. But, but, you guys keep asking about how to make coins on this game right now. And if you go back to videos I've brought out, there, I've given you tons of methods. And I'll continue to give you tons of methods. But I'm going to give you one simple bit of advice right now. Open bronze packs. They are incredible right now. When did we get promo packs? What the hell? Okay, well, yeah. Okay, cool. Anyway, BPM. Um, at the moment, the game's just come out. And so there's a lot of different cards that are selling for value. And the main thing that a lot of people are doing are the SPCs and putting SPC solutions onto Footbin. And basically what happens is people throw in bronzes. And initially those bronzes are cheap bronzes because they bought loads of them. And they go, right, I'm going to buy loads of these bronzes. And I'm going to list them all up for X amount of money. And I'm going to make profit from it. As you're doing that, as you're opening up bronze packs, so that pack there, for example, we've got profit from straight away. As you're doing that, you'll start to open up these same players again. And these players that you've got will eventually sell for a lot more coins than they would normally sell for. And you're able to get yourself a very good amount of coins just by opening up packs, okay? Now, I'm listing everything up here. My advice to you isn't to do that, okay? As much as possible, anyway. Left wing, they sell very well. We'll take that. What I would do if I were you guys is I'd look at each pack you get. And once you hit profit from your pack, I think about keeping certain players, all right? Now, I'm going to show you my transfer pile. And you can see how well we've done. First icon flip to the year. But look, everything sells for value. Now, this guy here, I'll show you in a second. 700 coins there, 700 coins there, 400 coins there. This guy here was an SPC solution yesterday and was 3.5k we sold him for. He's now back down at discard price. Um, it's just a case of basically opening up and continuing to open up. So certain players become attainable to you guys in terms of getting as many as possible bought and sold from packs, basically. The thing about the packs is, anything that sells for 200 coins, if you're trying to make your coins back, you sell, okay? As you can see, 200 coin players do sell. They all sell eventually, and it's great. But if you can keep a track of what you're doing and the coins you're making, you can make a lot more, I guess, profit is the best way I'm going to put it, in the long term. Because if I show you my club, I did BPM yesterday on stream and everyone will show you that we made very good value from it, very good profit from it. But I kept a lot of the 200 coin stuff um, purely because what I'll now be able to do with all of these bronzes here, all of these bronzes here, is put these into bronze upgrades and get silvers, put silvers into silver upgrades and get common golds. And those common golds can go into SPCs, they can go into gold upgrades and it will mean that I'm getting free players just by doing this grind while making profit, while making coins. Now, people say, how do I do bronze pack method? It's something that gets thrown out all the time. It is really easy. You basically sell everything. The only thing you have to bear in mind with, with it sometimes is a bit of patience, okay? Everything will sell. Even the contracts. If you want to sell the contracts, even the contracts will sell. But absolutely everything will sell eventually. What you don't do is look at the prices and go, right, let me undercut them by 50 coins, 100 coins. Meet them at like 350 there. If there's one at 300, meet them at 350, relist it a few times, it will sell. This guy here, I mean, there you go, two and a half. People have absolutely annihilated him by underlisting him there, so 750. You see that? The, look, we're going to buy this guy here because that's another point I'm going to make to you in a second. So we're going to buy, I'm going to buy that one as well. So people annihilate these cars. Now, we know there's a demand for these cars because he's sitting there chilling with demand on him. What you want to do is just make sure you're not undercutting the market to significant amounts because it's a waste of time. 
as you're doing it though, you will find players that are expensive to trade with. Because you'll look at this guy and go, hang on, he's got an undercut there. So I can buy this one here, put him back on for 2-2, alongside the one that I've got there, back on for 2-2. So you'll double up on it because you'll also be trading at the same time. And if you see big undercuts and you see these players have got bids on them, you can do that. A thousand coins. We also check the price of everything that's in the pack. So check the price of that. Check the price of that. And if you've really got time, send this stuff to your club. Send all of this stuff to your club if you've got time and list it for 200 coins for one try. Even if it's just one try. If it doesn't sell, then you can quick sell it. If you haven't got the time and you can't be asked, I don't blame you. You can literally just quick sell this stuff and just rely upon the players. There's no need to have to do it, basically. But just on those packs there, you can see just how many coins you can make. Just number one, by opening up the bronze packs themselves. And number two, by seeing any of the cards that you get there. Now, not everything is going to sell for masses. So this guy here, for example, won't sell for huge amounts, but we'll sell him... Diego Guti again. This guy will sell for about 450 probably. We'll lift him up and if we have to lower him down slightly, we will. Like that right wing back, I'll keep that. The left back there, Kuglin. Because I've made profit this pack, I'll keep these two. And I'll send them both to club. Okay? I'll send both of these two to club because I think I might as well do it. Now, once that happens, and that's all well and good, and you've made, you're making your coins and things are selling, let's have a little look and see what that is. I want to check quickly. That's good to you, so for 140. Um, once you've got everything, you're happy, stuff sold and whatever it is, you're then full of, you've got a club full of players, okay? You have a choice. You can convert those players, which is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to convert those players. If you are struggling for coin value, then all you do with these cards now is just hold them. And just every now and then, go into your club and just check and see if any of these cards have made themselves in, if there's any for tradable, have made themselves in or made their way into any FBC solutions. Because you'll see slowly but surely... Cards that didn't have value before suddenly start to have value because someone goes, actually, this guy called Cox from the Australian League, I'll throw him with some Australian cards, and suddenly he's got a bit of value, and you can then sell him for more. Now, none of these guys here have value because I'm pretty certain I made sure that all of them um, were ones that didn't have value yesterday. I checked them this morning, so I know which ones did have value and don't have value. But all you've got to do is just keep an eye on your club. Keep checking your club. Keep making sure there's stuff in your club. And like I say, alternatively, just go and get yourself some free players. It's really, really, really easy. Just go and get yourself some free players. And all you'll find over time, over time, is you'll build up a picture in your mind of the cards that sell. You'll know just by opening up bronze packs which ones are going to be valuable. But as you get these players up now, Johnson, Schroer, Schroer's, I think that's how you pronounce that, Schroer's. Once you've got these players, write them down. Go and write down Schroer's as a player and you know then to go and check his price every other hour. Go and have a look and see how many of him are in the market and see if there's any undercards. And if you sell him at 1,800, you know there's usually a demand there. That doesn't mean he's always going to sell for 1,800 coins, but it does mean that you know there's a demand for that card, therefore you can buy some, flip them on, and make it very easy for yourself. And the reason this is so effective, people ignore bronzes. Outside of BPM, people ignore them. Anyone that does the League SBC grind with me, anyone that does that sort of trading with me, the low-budget grind, will know how effective bronzes and silvers are. And if you can build a list yourself of players that are great, you are, you are flying. You'll be turning these coins you've got 50k, 100k into 200, 300k so quickly. And that will allow you to move on to position change trading. That will allow you to move on to chem style trading. That will allow you to move on to icon trading. It's really so simple. So, so simple, but so effective. So BPM, open up bronze packs and sell everything that sells. If you need the coins back, make sure you list everything possible, okay? Specifically, the players don't keep them. If you're finding you're doing very, very well, making very good profit, start to keep some of the... Uh, Bronze itself for 200 coins because you can use those for SBCs and upgrades. Outside of that, just keep a track of what you're doing. Make sure you fill your transfer pile up. Make sure you're very, very keen on what's in your club and what has value and what doesn't have value. And if you're doing really, really well, make sure you start marking down prices of players so that you know which ones sell, which ones don't, and you can use those to trade as well. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.